All right, so today we are back to work on old, well, we don't know if it's old trusty yet, but King Fred here. And I'd like to thank today's sponsor, me, for sponsoring this video. We're getting this front bumper recombobulated with new metal, new bars, a new winch. We got another Apex 12,000 pound winch. We're no math whiz, but that's gonna be five winches on this truck. So it ain't no heavy wrecker, doesn't have seven. Five is gonna be pretty Wait, solid. The wrecker only, only has seven? We're only two away. <laughs> that's true, yeah, the wrecker's only got seven. I thought it had 10. Matt, you need three more winches. Seven's not enough. So anyway, King Fred here is gonna get a little tuck here, a little nip there, a little, little shape shifting on this front bumper. So we're gonna be just hacking this thing up, rebuilding it, putting the winch right here. First things first, Hillbilly's gonna get this whole rubber mat taken off. Some of you may not know what that rubber mat is for. Hillbilly does, and he'll get to that in just a second. But Corey, roll some, some old footage of tow trucks pushing cars off of roadways with the front bumper. Bruh. Well, back in the day when it had like real bumpers and they were solid, you could use your front bumper on your wrecker and actually move the vehicle off the roadway. Yeah, so, I know. I want to try it. We got a Cavalier to try it on. <laughs> no, I love the Cavalier. That Cavalier is my my baby. But anyway, we... Let's, go, well, let's try it before we take it off. Let's try it on the Cavalier. I just want to see how well it actually works. So we're going to find out. So the boss didn't really think this thought process through because we have a G-Wagon right behind us. All right, I guess we'll get some Go-Jacks. We'll get the G-Wagon out of the way so that King Fred can come out to play. <laughs> Seems okay right now. Uh-oh. It's not okay right now. Uh-oh. Do you have your hiking boots on? Because I'm not walking the road. I'm going to cut through the field straight across, shorter cut. It's literally like a half a block distance that you would have to walk. No, it's a full block because you have half block here, block there, half block back up to the, where he's at. Robbie! Robbie! We need help! Just civic? Yeah. He left me stranded, hoofing it. Have no fear for King Fred is here! Let's go get it. So we're gonna go save the day and show you guys how they used to push cars with a rubber front bumper. Waiting my whole life for this. <laughs> we have to get this car off the roadway. I'm gonna get you a little bit of speed. Not like drifting sideways. Nope, that you can go to the intersection and flip around. We're gonna do this in the most safe, respectable manner possible, so you guys can see how this bumper used to work. Now he has to push us again because we got turned around. I don't know if he's going to just push me slow or push me fast and let me coast most of the way back to the shop. Scuff the bumper a little bit, but tail lights are all good. Trunk's good, so guess it worked. So in one of the last episodes, we built these little cages. We didn't weld them out. So I'm gonna take the time and hurry and weld, weld them out. Hillbilly has already welded the two side ones fully off camera. I'm gonna weld this one up. And then once he's done with the front bumper, getting all the matting off, we'll kind of switch. He's gonna run the idle up cable. We'll show you guys that and how it works. Um, but we're taking a 15 foot cable from the back of the bed and we're gonna run it up to the throttle. And when you screw it out, it idles the engine up so that you can run your hydraulics at a higher idle. Got a lot of stuff to do to this old wrecker, but it's coming along. In order to get this rubber mat off, it has like 10,000 rivets across the bottom and top. So I'm just gonna drill the rivets out and okay. pop it off. Okay, I got all the rivets drilled out, so now it should just pull off. Whoa! It's metal behind it. Bobby, this rubber flap has metal behind it. I thought it was just a chunk of a conveyor belt. Whoa. Oh, oh it's like impregnated. It's, it's fused to the metal, isn't it? Uh-huh. 
It's not bad. Yeah, we'll get it all the rivets out, get it all cleaned up. Then we can save that and put it back on. So the new latches that Damry ordered are here. So we'll get that changed over. So I got the old one out, got the new ones put in, but I'm gonna have to modify this door a little bit for this one to work. Now that I got the opening where it needs to be, I gotta re-drill the holes for this so I can bolt it down. Got to remove the original latching plate and the spacer that I built so the new latch will actually latch. You built the filler plate to fill in the hole. Now I'm just fine tuning it to make sure it fits the way it's supposed to. I just gotta grind a little bit more off the inner part right here. It's hitting the bolt or the nut right there. Gotta make sure it clears and still tight. Perfect. Now I just gotta weld it. So I got the filler plate all welded in. Now I'm just grinding it down so it's flush and then the inside will be done. A true test. Does this work? It does. All right, so I've got the whole rear, our winch roll cage fully welded in. It's hotter than hot. Hillbilly's got his latch all modified and fixed. We're gonna go to lunch, so we'll be right back. We're gonna get some bars cut off. Hillbilly's got some stuff he's working on in the rear, so I'm just gonna start cutting. Then we're gonna hack this bumper apart. It's already looking better. Look at it. So the new cable arrives. So I'm gonna get it installed. This cable is, makes it where you can idle the truck up to run the winches or to run the booms and the wind and not have to have someone in there pressing the gas. This will do it all for you except run the winches. I'll get the handle installed, and then once the handle's installed, you press the wire through to get to that fitting. There's a ball on the end of the fitting, and it just slides on like that. And then when you tighten it all down, it makes it to where it can't just fall off like it's doing, and it holds it in place. And that's where it's gonna go. Took the nuts all the way off just to make sure it's gonna slide in there, and not try to make sure I didn't have to drill the hole a little bigger and off. Well, I've cut three bars off. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this here for now, but I'm gonna measure out my winch and see how much I need to cut out of there and just start figuring out where the winch is gonna go itself. Then we'll figure out the bars and then we're gonna trim the bottom off, kind of make it look a little bit more sleek, come up. We're gonna angle these sides. We're gonna leave maybe just a little bit here out to the edge. Um, so I'm just gonna keep on cutting. Just working on getting the cable ran up to the motor so we get it hooked up. Then I can go through and secure everywhere so I know it's long enough. So I'm realizing this bumper is well used. The whole front's dented, top's buckled. You've really done some pushing in their day. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I need 24 inches of width for that bump, for that winch to work. So I got a 24 inch mark there. It's 10 inches from base to top of that winch. So right there is gonna be the top of the winch. And the bottom is gonna be down here. So I wanna be at five inches. So I'm gonna cut a five inch piece out of this, 24 inches wide, and then we're gonna re-box it all in. I'll, I'll use the plasma table. We'll cut a base plate. Um, we're gonna use probably some two by two square tubing to really frame it out into the bumper. So we've got some sort of structure. I'm gonna probably end up cutting it off about right here, somewhere in that neighborhood. But that'll be done after. We'll start here. Right now, we're just cutting the crap out of it. Perfect. Oh no! What have I done? That's what I'm talking about. This bumper is gonna be better than it's ever been in its whole entire life. 
since 1992. My tow truck looks like it's toothless now with this big gaping hole. So I'm gonna get on the plasma table and I'm gonna cut out a 24 inch wide by seven inch base plate. Last final thing to do before I test it is trim that up because we don't need 10 feet of this. Trimmed it enough just so for adjustment. Now I'll start it and go back and rev it up and make sure it revs up. Um, don't you think you should have tested it before you cut that off? No, that's why I left that much for a room. <laughs> Works as a key grabber too. Here we go. It works. All right, so I just got everything drawn up in my CAD program. I got it into my whatever software to make this thing cut. We're gonna hit the go button, make it cut. So we're gonna hit run and away we go. All right, so we've got this all cut. Now we're gonna tack it into place. We had to push the front of the bumper out because it's dish. The hillbilly's gonna try to help me. I just put my angle finder. We're at 1.1 degrees kicked down a little bit. So we're gonna match this plate to that and then we're gonna match this way to this bar. And hold it right there. We're gonna set this, push up a little, hold it. Now we're gonna set this side, 0.8. Right there. That's where we need it. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build me some side plates that brace it up on the sides. We'll get those put in. And then we're gonna put, we are gonna put a bar right in the dead center, a two by two pipe. And that's what Hillbilly's gonna cut out right now. Um, it's gonna go right in the dead center of this plate. And it's gonna act as support for the winch and the bumper. So we're gonna do that out of two by two. So I'm gonna try to make these symmetrical. So this is six and seven eighths. And same with this one, four and five eighths. So I'm gonna do something like that. So it's not just a straight flat plate. Um, a lot of our structure is gonna come from the back side, the front side, and then the bar that we're putting under it. So this is basically just gonna fill the gaps. So I'll go draw those up. We'll get them cut out. Okay, I got it marked. Now I just need to get it set. Third is two by two by 31 and three quarter. Square to Got the passenger side winch mounted. Now we're going to get the driver side mounted. We're going to get this tightened up. I wanted to make sure that I had an inch all the way around. So these little cutouts are going to be kind of small. I want them that way. I just like doing things a little fancy. I think they turned out pretty dang good. If you ask me, they're exactly like the CAD drawing. Perfection. Nice and clean and a test fit. See if they fit. They do. The other side, it doesn't fit too good because it's bent. As you can see it's tight here and gap there. So we'll grab a big crescent wrench and get that bent back straight. So I'm gonna set them in, get them tacked where I want them. And I'm gonna grind the outside so all this is cleaned up and we'll bolt the winch, make sure it fits. All right, so I've got that pretty dang square. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, I'm gonna put a tack at the back. Now you're starting to kind of see what I was envisioning. It's basically just a little pad for the winch. I think we're gonna hack these off. We're gonna have to, to make it look good with some bars. All right, I think once that's fully welded in, that's gonna look super sweet. I've made sure everything's square. I'm gonna grab my winch and we're gonna throw it up in here and just see if it clears everything. We might have to notch this 
grill and lower grill part out a little bit. All right. All right, so we are definitely, definitely, definitely gonna have to notch that grill out. We gotta go back about another inch and a half. All right, so I've marked it. We'll just pull those pieces out of the way, get that to mount, then we'll trim them, make it all fit. But this is as far as we're gonna get tonight because it's late, so it is tomorrow. All right, it is the next morning. We are back to work on the sweetest wrecker you've ever seen on YouTube. I gotta try to finish this up. We'll get as far as I can because we gotta use this truck later. That's for another video. What I wanna do is get the winch mounted, get this inner all welded up and get that bar in. I wanna try to get an idea of how to shape this, but I probably won't get too far. So we're gonna start with getting the grill out, getting that all trimmed up. It almost didn't come out. So I don't wanna just hack it through and have no structure. I just wanna notch it. So I'm gonna go grab some tools. All right, so I just wanted to, I wanted to strip away all the paint around my new winch mount so that I can fully weld this all in. Um, the reason I was doing that is I could not find my thin cut. So Hillbilly got it for me. So I'm gonna hurry and cut into this and cut my grill and try to make the winch fit. I think that's gonna work. I'll grab the winch, set it up in here and see if we've notched it enough. Yep. So one thing the boss just noticed, this was in the way, but I think I can put that over top, then I don't have to notch it. So we'll just take that, run it down through there. Once we do the grill part, we'll make sure that the grill is notched enough. And then this will go right through that hole. We'll take our ground through and we'll have us a bad lane winch mounted. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the grill. Now that I've got the lower veins notched, I'm gonna start notching this, but I'm only gonna do it an inch at a time. So I'm gonna take it here, go in an inch, cut it, and then test fit it. And if I have to take more, I'll take more, but I don't just wanna make a big humongous hole. I'm gonna double check, make sure I'm not cutting too deep. I think I'm gonna cut through this bottom one because that's pretty flimsy anyway. <laughs> So we'll test fit this, see if we got enough. Ha <laughs> ha, look at it! I think we got plenty. Look at that, look at that. Actually, I gotta take it a little bit further here. I'm gonna come over about a quarter of an inch, get that off. I'll probably do both sides. I'll just take it out just a quarter of an inch more. And that grill is gonna be expertly fit. All right, so <clears throat> now that I've got the winch set, I'm gonna show you guys something. I wasn't gonna put a back plate in this, but I kinda wanna put a backer plate. I fit the winch up, it all fits. I'm gonna build a plate that goes from side to side and kinda gives us some rigidity at the back of this bumper. So it kinda boxes it in, it'll be open up front. I think that's gonna be great for what we're doing. This will eventually get cut off, but I'm gonna leave it for now because it's just keeping everything kinda where it needs to be. But we're gonna go to the plasma table, hurry and program it up, cut that plate out, get it in, get it tacked so I can weld this sucker in. Just like that, we're gonna get our air-framed rear panel all burned out on the plasma table. I like to be able to use, I like to fabricate because I can actually use the tools that I have. They don't just sit and feel like a waste. I love it when a plan comes together. So I kind of thought that out, measured it, and the plasma table is able to bring that to life. So I am no CNC operator. I am no CAD drawer, but I know enough to use some squares and lines and circles and make that type of stuff. We'll grab that, grind off all the slag, and get it put in. All right, as suspected, that fits in there perfect. All right, so I got all four corners tacked. Now, before we go and weld this and get crazy with it, I just want to verify that this thing's going to fit in and out. I mean, it should, but you never know. Oh yeah. I haven't quite decided yet, but I might do a big fair lead mount plate on the front. Cause that plate, what I would do is it would come, you know, a little bit lower, 
shoot up, have our fair lead right here, make it fancy schmancy so you see everything, that type of deal. Not today. Today is make sure that we even have a winch box. But I think that's turning out awesome. For what this is, this is something this truck should have had in the beginning, doing off-road recoveries. Time to get that sucker welded in. All right, so I've got this all welded in, but we got a recovery to go on. And that's not for this video. So we're not even gonna put the winch in. We have the rear winch. We're not gonna be able to use the side winches. That's fine. So I'm gonna get the truck all cleared off and we're gonna be headed out. So next time we'll get the winch in and we'll try to figure out a fair lead mount. So what I'm thinking is I'm probably gonna build a mount that's about an inch out, break it so it like flows into here, put a bottom on it, maybe a pipe, I don't know. I think that everyone's just waiting for it to be painted. Keep on waiting, cause it's gonna be a little while, but I'm gonna paint it. Why? Cause I gotta finish everything. Why? Cause that's what you do. Well, can it just be painted? <laughs> can it just be painted and then finish everything? I forgot, I gotta put my grill back in. Get it bolted up. Looks like it's missing a tooth. As always, we appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. 